Hi friends, today we are going to graph coins. When we put our coins together, I put mine in this little bowl right here. You want no more than 20 coins, okay? You want 20 or less coins to graph. So let's look at our graph. In this column, we have pennies. In this column, we have nickels. In this column, we have dimes. And in this column, we have quarters. Okay, so whenever we graph, we're going to take something from the bucket here. I'm going to take a penny and I always start at the bottom and start working my way up the column in the graph. Okay, so I have my pennies. There's my bowl. My pennies are done. I'm going to start taking them out. You can take the coins out of your bowl in any order. So you could do some of the quarters and then you could do a nickel next. I have a dime and another quarter. And I'm just, oops, I almost dropped that. I have to be more careful, Miss Mac. And I'm just going to put them and I remember I'm staying in the same column when I do my graph and I only put one coin per box. Okay. Oh, I have two more coins left. Okay. I have taken all my coins. They're all gone. Okay. Now let's look at our graph. We want to read our graph. So the first thing I'm going to look at is that I have two pennies. One, two. I have two pennies. I have one, two, three, four. I have four nickels. I have one, two, three dimes, three dimes. One, two, three, four, five. I have five quarters. Now I want to look at my graph. And the first thing I want to tell is which one of these columns has the least amount of coins. Take a look at the graph, massage your brain and think about your answer. If you said the pennies has the least amount or the smallest amount of coins, you're right. Now I want to look at the column that has the most coins. Stop, massage your brain, think about your answer. If you said quarters, you are correct. My quarters come all the way to the top. I have one, two, three, four, five quarters. This column of quarters has the most coins and this column of pennies has the least amount of coins. Now I want you to go to the template and try yourself.